Yeah, let's go ahead and explore the chateau. The chateau. Curious to see what this is gonna be about. Victory and shade. A plague reads. <laughs> it's already gone. Fancy house. Too quiet. Everyone leveled up. Except for me. <laughs> okay, for Solus, we can get you Smothering Fail, so weakened enemies have the damage they inflict reduced even further. Let's see, Sarah. Ooh, maybe we can upgrade some stuff. Or maybe we can get this. They can't hit what they can't see. Your deceptive fighting style gives you a chance to dodge enemy attacks, taking no damage. We get that. And black wall. Let's see. Perhaps we can get like some of these. Let's see, maybe we can can get crippling blows for it. Yeah, let's get that. Is that all? Yep. Okay, so we have a painting of Varayo. Can we interact with it? Or? No, it's just showing us what it is. I like, you can see the lines here on the bridge. I wonder what part of Varayo this is though. It's so dark here, my god. That's Mephrav. The imp Ooh. That did not just light itself. Whatever rests here has taken an interest in our presence. Oh, it's haunted Imperial Highway. Oh, that's the one that the Tvinders made, right? Like the ones that they have at Astagar. A torn diary. Uh, it's not fair. I want to go outside. I can hear the guests downstairs. Another party. There's always another party. Mother and father brought me a present to make me feel better. To make me better. They're just trying to shut me up. Cook's scared of me. She still calls me my sweets, but she's scared. Still, she hasn't told father or mother. She's afraid of me more than she likes them. I don't think Cook likes herself much either these days. I have a new friend now. She understands me. She, help, she will help me. Make things fair again. Uh, it sounds like the the kid was a mage, and like she was um, interfering or like uh, interacting with a desire demon of some sorts. So we have General Matthew or Matu, feared by the dog lords. Oh, so this is the guy who owned this place. Because it has the last, same last uh, name there. And then we have those who oppose thee shall know the wrath of heaven. Heaven. Oh, so this is something to do with uh, Andraste, I believe. I'm guessing this is Andraste. Let's go through here. Ooh, bodies. From the look of their clothes, I'd say these men were looters. Yeah. This poor job of it. Ooh. The big stairway going up. Let's see you. The Dalish woods in summer. Kind of looks like um, the exalted plains, maybe, or maybe part of the Emerald Grace as well. Nanette, Mabel Rose. Is that the daughter or the mom? I'm not quite sure. She looks young, so I'm guessing it's the daughter. Help with that? Yes, please. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, that just leads outside. We can wait for that. Oh, I know I'm lit it so. Let's just open. Uh, let's just open these. We have General... Ah, yeah. 
the general again. We have portrait of Abel. Okay, so I'm guessing another family member. Ooh, can we go out here? Oh, I'm guessing this is how they got in. Yeah, I think that's how they got in. But it looks like they've been uh, they've been here a while, even though the bodies are fresh, because the plants are like growing on the windows. Anita Shayu, beloved Grand Mirror. Okay, so this leads back again. There's also a door there that I didn't open. Let's see what that leads to. Oh no, it was already open. Oh god. Dalish? Or like an L? Right? Or is it just someone with big ass ears? <laughs> big human ears. Ooh. Some loot here. Summer stone. Open that. Ooh. Okay. Oh god. Bronto height. Crash fine. Ooh. Why did that sound like a rope like tightening? Let's see what's on the other side here. Looks like dining room area. Yeah. Anything here though? Doesn't look like it. Okay, Sarah, can you open this up for me? Leads to outside again. Ooh, there's something there. We should search the area. Wait, why am I back here? What the hell? That was weird. I can't see the indication. It's going here. Ooh. Got a sketch one of Chateau interior. Has something to do with this? Hmm. What was that? Oh, what the fuck is there? That's not what I wanted. So we have to find that thing. Anything else here? Put some rash fine. Get that. An embryum. Okay, let's explore a bit more. Come on, Sarah. Oh, so these were the servants' quarters. Okay. So this is leading upstairs. Sorry, black wall. Where does this room lead to then? Oh, something there. A cook's diary. Pages tucked under a servant's mattress. Then Nell noticed my unease and has been pestering me with questions about the girl. I told the dreaded child to see her duties, to her duties and mind her own business, but at this rate she's going to start prying and something will have to be done about her. The Nell's not a bad sort, even if she's a bit lazy. I'd be, it, would, it would be a pity to have to tell Lord Dionter that she's being troublesome. Maybe I could just have the child fired. She knows her letters and numbers. There are any numbers of places that will take her. It's not too late for her. I wish it weren't too late for me and the others. I must go tend to my poor sweets. I hope today will be a good day. Interesting. Okay, so this 
lead somewhere. Outside again, okay. Let's see, where does this lead them? Feel another of the elven artifacts. Here in this place. Although it doesn't really come as a surprise to me, I feel like. Oh, it's here. That should help ward off demons. That made it light up as well. Okay. Ooh, that's a high dragon. But it's like just a statue, right? Looks like it. Is there anything on here? Oh, there's a corpse there again. Anything on this side? There's a door leading to outside. Same there. There's a place. There we go. Get that. Loot the thing. Oh, another one there. Nicely done. Let's see, there are letters here. Torn up page. I had to make myself breakfast this morning. It wasn't very good. When I saw a mother and father, I couldn't stop pry crying. I don't know what to do. My friend says there's a there's a way to be less lonely. She says not to be afraid. There are other games we can try, and I will feel better. Out. Thank you for the light. So dark. Keen machete. Evil. There you go. And here we have Jeanette, matriarch of the house. Ah, okay, so that's the mom. Who are you? Looks like a Templar of sorts. Okay, then we can go this way because we went all around it. We can go up the stairs here. Ooh. Something this way. Oh, that's the statue! Then we have sketch 2 of Chateau. Okay, so we need to find these things. Got Jeanette again. Does this open up? I need a key, balcony key. Oh, so let's move. What about this side? Here, something there. Tara, oof. Uh. <laughs> Way to go there as well. The balcony here. It's like an artifact almost. Ooh. There we go. Fall. <laughs> There's nothing on there, at least. Let's see, is there anything in the library? There's a corpse. Goodbye. There we go. Some things to read. Loot one. The Antiphon Kiss Volume 1, excerpt from the first volume of a popular romance serial known for the frivolity and access. 
Would they truly notice so brief an absence? He murmured softly. He kept his back to her, his eyes on the painting, as though she did not excite the slightest interest. Would it be so very brief? She returned. The corner of his mouth twitched in a smile, a smile triumph that served to quicken her pulse, making her mindful of her own countenance. The garden, he murmured softly, and walked away without a glance in her direction. Her journey to the hedge maze was uneventful, although her heart yet quickened. At, le at last he pulled her into a dark a clove. So serene, that smirk of yours, he murmured in her ear. Let me see your smile. Slowly he pulled the ribbon that bound her mask. Ooh. The girl in red crossing. Too long I have traveled, soon I'll see her smiling. The girl in red crossing, I'm longing to see. Oh, I know she is there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. I've dreamed of the kiss I stole beneath the arbor. I've dreamed of the promise beneath the old ash tree. Oh, I know she is there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. One last stream to cross, one last hill to wander, until I reach the love I'm longing to see. Oh, I know she is there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Running through the streets, only silence follows. Elven arrows sunk into the old ash tree. Oh, I know she is there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Ruby on the green, paddles lost in drifting. Take her to his side, undress they hear my plea. I, I found her lying there, daisies in her hair, waiting by the chantry to marry me. Not surprisingly, this folk song originates from the Red Crossing region, although it is known in various parts of Orlais. While clearly inspired by the events of the exalted march of the Dales, it is unknown whether the narrator and the eponymous girl are based on actual figures or are representative of the overall losses su suffered at Red Crossing. For Marlesian musical tradition by Sister Rosette, published by University of Orlais. Something to look here. Got a Vitor. Of gods and doubts. Forgive me, I claim belief once, swore with tears in my eyes that Our Lady was the light and through her blessing I knew the Maker. But I cannot brook the division between what I have tried to know and what I cannot ignore. Is the Maker less silent than the profane elven pantheon or the old gods of the Finter? And what of archdemons that are not silent at all? We have we have real ongoing strife, all of us, every people and creed, that we each blame on the heretical actions of others. And yet, if any of our truths was truth, that blame would be impossible. It is not just that these claims of divinity cannot coexist, it is that no other claims could be made if any of those worshipped were ever truly God. I am shamed my faith cannot withstand so pede pedestrian an argument. All I have learned in my time here is fear. Initiate Michaela Cheve. Go as you must, as must we all. But note the only thing worse than a faith broken is a faith untested. Correspondent and teacher of Mother Hervara Valrayo Archive. Interesting. There we go. There's more to read here. Anything to loot, however? No. From the Canticle of Frenades, an illuminated copy of the Chant of Light, a few of the passages have been bookmarked. In secret they work, magic upon magic, all their power and all their vanity they turned against the veil, until at last it gave way. Above them a river of light, before them the throne of heaven, waiting, 
Beneath their feet, the footprints of the maker, and all around them echoed a vast silence. Canticle of Frenides A2 to 3. Secret reading. Pages of a letter have been hidden inside a copy of the Antiven Kiss Volume 2. The box seems unass uh, unassuming, but I'm told it works as intended. There's an enchantment to it. It attracted power before. If you want more details, we talk more coin. There are risks in asking too many questions. I doubt you care. So long as it helps with your little problem, I'll expect my fee in due course. And then we have superstitions. A book of superstition, several of the pages have been bookmarked. How to prevent magic formation in the earliest stages. Should mage blood run through your line, no matter how distant the relation, avoid conceiving in winter. While the ch wild with child, sleep with dried embryo beneath your pillow to ensure good health. Infants and, and most small children will show no signs of magic. However, you can purge the body of unwanted elements before they take hold. Place leeches on each of the child's limbs when done. Burn the leeches. Be sure not to inhale the smoke. Afterwards, wrap the child's limbs in cloth by a chantry sister. A child sh showing signs of magic may be submerged in water until the breath is nearly lost. If magic is still weak within them, it will die before the child. Should the trouble persist beyond reason, certain talismans may suppress the child's child's scale. Look at this. There are more books on magic and how to contain it. Such attempts never end well. For you, maybe. Nah, that's fucked. They were trying to experiment on the fucking child. Jesus. Those who oppose... Yeah, that's the uh, Andraste thing again. We'll go for here, it looks like. Bat chambers. Anything here? There's something to read. An apology. A hastily written note left on a guest room table. Ma chère Colette, I am very sorry. But we must depart sooner than anticipated. Night terrors seize my husband. He will not remain a moment longer. Honestly, I don't know what he's thinking rushing us out of here so rudely. I hope you will forgive me for not conveying my regrets in person, but due to the late hour, we decided not to be a bother. I'm sure you understand. Je t'aime... Je t'aime... Je t'aime... I don't know. Again, I don't know French. <laughs> Got some loot. Ooh, I wonder what that skull is all. Interesting. The open window here. Can we, oh, we can jump out. Oh, but it, it will make us drop. Okay, wait, I don't- I wanna explore this first and then we can come back. Some loot here. We got a schematic, nice. We have to go up. Oh, this is where the thing is at? Yeah, then we have sketch 3, which is... Near the dragon, okay, we saw the dragon. But do we have to be up or down for it? A torn diary page. I showed them. We had such fun. We did. Dancing and partying, partying until everyone fell down. It was glorious. The best party ever. Father and mother went to their room when we were done. Mother was crying. She was so happy. I held out the present. It made me better, just like they said. I have not left the house, I'm still scared of what's on the other side of the door, but maybe I'll go out tomorrow. Yikes, is this the child's room then? Lock from the other side, okay. Then maybe we have to... Um... 
go up the stairs from the other side that we were at. Jump in the water. Uh, I think I was here. Oh god, there are way more corpses now. There we go. There we go. Let's see where this will lead. Anything here? Got more undrusted. to be at the other side. Ooh. We can also see the corpse there. Oh, there's more. Reminder, a shakily written note. There is no one left to remind me. I can trust the thoughts in my I can't trust the thoughts in my head. Some of them are hers, but these are mine. Key to balcony do not use. I, it won't make you better. They lied. She lied. The Ontaris beast, impressive, most certainly a fake, but of the superior quality. I would rather hang a handsome piece than something unappealing. To Lady Montaire, on the aesthetic appeal of a fine, authentic beast purchased in, purchased in Farayo. Okay. Ooh, there we go, we can open that now. Okay, but we first need to go see what's on the other side here. What's on the balcony here? Nothing? Okay. Another balcony, but there's nothing here. Same area, okay. 
Let's see what's on the balcony then. Face, oh, I didn't even see it. Mosaic beads, some loot, more loot. Lord Theon Terror's journal. The journal entry is dated 927 Dragon. That Circle Templar is demanding another payment, greedy bastard. Taking advantage of, all, all, of us all these years because we wanted to preserve our good family name. He promised to silence the mage once returned to his circle, but it doesn't protect us from the tra Templar. I wonder though, was it enough? No, the mage was strong, even if uh, even I could sense it. It was terrifying. There's no way the child could break through. She doesn't even have training. So long as she stays inside, everything will be alright. No one will ever know. Up now, yep. Let's interact with this. Ooh. There it is. Okay, so it's not an arcane horror, but it is. Uh, it's not a desire demon, but it is an arcane horror. That's what I meant to say. Here we go. Let's put it in a cage then. This. Do energy barrage on it. Turn this again. Maybe we can do a strike. Let's put this on me at least. Or on all of us apparently. There you go. Suffering that drew the spirit here, or cruelty. At least it is over. So sad. With a crest ring, enhanced walking bomb, super superb cooldown uh, amulet, and a fire rune. All because they wanted to keep their family name in good spirits, I guess. That's fucked. Was that everything here then? I think so, right? Let's see. Got something else. Yeah, no, there's everything here. God, that was awful. Okay, then we have this thing here. Let's see. Rash fine nettle. 
Ooh. Oh, did she get pushed from here? What? Beta's travel journal. Seventeen Heron. Uh, I don't want to go to Ferelden. I have to leave everything. My paintings, the cat, and worst of all, mother's little garden. It's been such a comfort to me since her passing. I don't know what I'll do, but Liselle has little eaves to think about. And the war threatens to consume more of her lay every day. 20 herring. The cat and her kittens the day we had her kittens the day we left. Mother looked after her. I cannot. We couldn't even take a little one for Eves, even though he begged. They were too small. They would have died without their mother. Four winter's march. I'm so tired. We spotted a house in the forest abandoned. There's a roof and some hay. And Liselle, Liselle agrees that we can stay here for a day or two to recover. Later in winter's march. Liselle and Eves have been gone all a long time. I haven't seen them in days. Mother made a bed for them upstairs, I suppose, and I suppose Eve is still young. Young ones need their sleep. It's so good to have mother with us on this long journey. She always knows what to do. The day it rained. It rained today. Mother and I played a hiding game in the house. I found Liselle. She didn't like it when I found her. She was screaming about Eve's. I looked at what I wrote before, and I guess there isn't there isn't Eves. I think he is our dog. Mother told Liselle to be quiet. She was run ruining the game. Waterfall night. Mother says I bore her. She's just sick again, like she was back home. I didn't tend to her well then. She got sicker because of me. Not this time. I asked her what she needed. She says there is a waterfall close by and a wild crystal grey shrub growing by its edge. She wants me to get rose hips for tea. Huh, so it was stated in the beginning that the mom died. So I'm guessing she started like seeing like a demon or like uh Yeah, I guess like a demon that like portrayed her mom and made her blame herself. But is that also, like, did she get pushed off or did she, like, jump off herself? Walk off herself? Let's see. There's also something here that was triggering the... What you call it, the... Like it was saying that there was something nearby. It was around here, I believe, right? Just have to be careful with the giant. Got to be something here. Oh, maybe in here in the cave? Bottle of Fate is Mac Mackay's epic single malt. This whiskey is older than the maker and smoother than an elfin baby butt. <laughs> what the fuck? These. There you go. We can also check out the other thing. They're full of giants, however. Holy shit. Oh, oh god. They scared the shit out of me. They're our own men. We near another artifact. Oh, what the hell? There you go. Excellent. The wards are functioning again. Ooh, what's here? There is something here. This is gonna be a regret. Can I jump up here? Can I not? No, I can't. 
Okay, then where is it at exactly? Be careful of the giant here. There it is. He don't see me. I'm quite literally hidden. Bronto scared the shit out of me. It's crossing the bridge. <laughs> so up there. How do I get up there? Oh, it's here. Bianca arms. Four and super belt of health. It's just waiting there. Just looking at the other side of the bridge. <laughs> okay, we have to go there. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh like it has arrows in its back. Fingers <laughs> don't fish. Do a build strike. Can you rush it? Lightning. Okay, we can put this there. There you go. Oh, he's there. Okay. on him and just it again and the garage there we go what did you drop big boy oh that's just a foot Okay, <laughs> got cold and some armor. Okay, what is here then? The bl the diary of Trolois Hurtabees. Ah, so this is he died. A final bloodsmeared entry written in a shaky scrawl. The great mission, final test. Learned so much since this first day on that ridge. Thought I knew enough to try to interact with a menace, to touch it. This didn't go well. Instruments did nothing. Didn't affect the menace at all. We are all doomed. Just going to lie here for a while. He underestimated how dangerous the rift is. Yeah. Yay. So we have more shards here. I will go to camp then, and we can change up our party. To, so we can get to Cassandra for that and we can also um, do the rift there. Let's see, party there. So Cassandra at least. Maybe cool. Or... We can do it like that. Inquisitor. And they all leveled up. We can check it out. Dorian. We have you. Spirit mark. You mark a target with an attacking spirit, inflicting ongoing damage. If the target dies, we'll mark the spirit and mimics the victim's body briefly to fight on your behalf. A walking bomb, you curse an enemy inflicting ongoing spirit damage and then trigger the curse in a devastating expo explosion. Ooh. Uh, I think I'll get rid of this. Then you can get this one. There you go. Then we have bull. Yay. Let's see. 
You have block and slash, mighty blow, pummel strike. Perhaps we can do it like so. There we go, so we have the vow. Blood is life. You rip into your enemy, doing damage based on how badly you are wounded and healing yourself. Ring of Pain is significantly, significantly increases the effect. Ooh. Then we have Cassandra. Wrath of Haven. You summon a blinding pillar that lights, stuns nearby enemies. Of light that stuns nearby enemies. And damages demons. Let's see. We can do it like so. There we go. Okay, then we have to go there. Sent supplies from Griffin Winky. Ooh, thank you. Oh, there they are. Let's see. There, a rogue mate. There he is. Okay, I can do this. Like this. I need to draw here. Is that all? Okay, let's see. It's over. Thank you for bringing us here. You're welcome. So I only have one left, right? Of the target. There we go. Power shock battle axe. Okay, let's see. Then there's a rift here. Can take care of that. Oh, there's something up there. Okay. Let me get up here then. Dragon. There we go. Oh no, fuck. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have like a shop nearby. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. And for the time being, I'll just get rid of what the shitty stuff. There we go, that should be enough. Then we can go here. And uh, do the rift. Ooh, we got a lot of despairs. Oh god, the level 20. Down. You don't boost. Put that down. Okay, then we have another one there. And that. So I'll focus on the despair. Lightning. You don't boost. Oh, well, it's being blocked by a root of a tree. Elgonon's bias is in the lightning. There we go. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, let's see what we have. 
They're all shades except for you. You are the spare, so you can put that on. And also take this arm bullet. And that. The energy barrage can't do a whole lot of this Oh, what the fuck? That's a fucking fear demon. Stone fist on it. That's why Bull was dying so bad. Okay, now we just need to get the third one. Oh, I mean the despair is two as well. Fuck. Yeah. Lightning. Okay, that's one. Then we have this one. And we can roll shoot. Stone lightning. Stone fist. A bit of barrier. Oh, we're also both doing it. Okay, so all. There we go. Okay, let's see what they have here then. <laughs> Must grind your gristle, the Elder One is some crazy vint asshole, huh? I'm not thrilled to discover we should take those old legends at face value. Guess he thinks the modern Imperium is a real letdown too. Why wouldn't he? Tevinter once covered all Thedas. Its glory only matched by its depravity. It'd be like Coslin showing up and learning the Canari didn't conquer the world after all. Hmm, yes. Priesthood's been trying to explain that one for centuries. <laughs> Okay, I won't go in here just yet because of that. I need to set up my what the fuck? Make her have mercy, Dalish. They've been murdered. Most of them are unarmed. Some don't even have defensive wounds. They were taken by surprise. There should be Inquisition soldiers here. Ooh, what the fuck happened here? Okay. I will quickly go ahead and find somewhere where I can sell my shit and then I'll be right back. Chest, I would be grateful. Oh, we did it? Nice. Well, there was a good thing that we went there then to sell our shit. Okay. We are back here. I changed up the party just a bit. So let's uh, figure out what the hell happened here. These are our men. Our men are also killed. Got like the wolves howling. Interesting. These are our men. Wait, <laughs> we already said that. The Emerald Knights curse the past, the place where li where lies were born. For beneath their sun, our people fall. The lands their lady once bestowed, now stolen in her name. So when these words are read, we shall be gone. Ooh.
Like a daily share? Looks like it. What happened to this place? Red Templars, that's what happened. Oh, and Vernatory. Okay. Put that there. Any who serve Corypheus willingly deserve. No mercy. Let us thin their ranks. Do that. Ten lightning. And the corrosion. There we go. Ten lightning. <laughs> there you go. Let's see, got some loot here. Some stuff there as well. Can I get this? Get up there. Have to go around it. God, this place is dusty. Ooh, behemoth. Okay. We can take care of it. Put that down. Can lightning. The armor. There we go. Attack them. Maybe we can figure out what they were after. Ooh. Can go up here then. Used to be a chantry here. The Emerald Knights cry for the past. Only there does glory dwell. For here the bow was strung, the sword bequaved, the vows sworn. So glory was born within the hearts of elves. The Emerald Knights. They once patrolled the borders of the Dales, protecting the elven people. The Dalish saw them as romantic heroes. The chantry called them ruthless butchers. I suspect both sides have some element of truth. Perhaps. We'll have to find out for sure though. Not a behemoth there. Take that. Anything here? No. What about down here? Looks like there was a door there once, or like an opening at least. Hello. Oh, I got a stalker. Okay. Get you in that. There you go. Got him. Yeah, yeah, I know. Why is it showing me this? I already know. Uh, sing for the past. We'll rest those... Where rests those who came before, for each night a seed was sown, roots twisting with their brothers and sisters. So the forest grew, a reflection of our might. Should we look around? We should. <laughs> Ooh, got another one of the seals, nice. Supply cash, but I think we're all good. Yeah, there's no need for that. I like how the ceiling looks. It's a bit weird to say, but you can appreciate the architecture every once in a while. 
Hello, everyone. Did we get it? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna loot them in a bit. Let's see what's over here first. Ring velvet. Okay, let's go down then. Hello, Behemoth. It's not from here. Oh, the big piece. Oh, we got all of invasion now. Nice. Anything else here? No, okay. Then where do we have to go exactly? Oh, we can go by there. I see. up the secret room I guess <laughs> wait what's at the other side there nothing okay it was just a wall can climb down there Here, however, sigil of the revenant, and you can also do this call. Come right there. There we go. Hello, tombs. Whoa. What happened to this place?
Whoa, what's that statue? I believe it was Mithal, right? The Emerald Knights forget not the past. It is all that remains for each night. A seed was sown, roots were twisting. With their brothers and sisters, the forest remains a reflection of our sorrow. Let's see what's up here then. Ooh, like mosaic pieces here. Eh? Epitaphs for the lost. Neat, tight script preserves a final epitaph for the fallen. Fire stirred even ever an impatient heart, but she would not be moved. Siona, Valondin, and Asal and Aste. Epitaphs for the lost. Arrows along the spine. The child cried. Shelters by his form. Talim, Valondin, and Asal and Aste. Get your help here. There we go. Got that, got that for the thing. Ooh, we're right by the statue. And something here. No? Can we not loot that? No, I guess not. Weird. our way back again <laughs> where we came from <laughs> huh. ah there it is the beam of broken door there Let's do this. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Put that down. Try to rush it. There we go. Jesus. That was aggressive. Emerald seal. I'm not sure if we need this again though. Stalker? Yep. Okay, let's put this on again. Uh, 
Mortuary Mage. Can put this on us. here where are you dorian in the middle you broke the game dorian broke the game <laughs> okay what if we just uh just do a safe here maybe they will uh get back at it There they are. Got some gold. Okay, there's also some here. Another artifact. Yeah, I need a warrior for that. Olafon part two. You ask what happened to Arafan. Sadly, we do not know. Even those of us who, sp who keep the to the ancient lore have no record of what truly happened. What we have are accounts of the days before the fall and a fable of the whims of the gods. The human world was changing. Even as the elves slept, clans and tribes gave way to the powerful empire called the Vinter, which, and for what reason we do not know, moved to con conquer Elvanen. When they breached the great city of Arlafan, our people, fearful of disease and loss of mortality, chose to flee rather than fight. With magic, demons, and even dragons at their behest, the Interwinter Imperium marched easily through Arlafon, destroying homes and galleries and amph amphitheaters that had stood for ages. Our people were corralled as slaves, and, and, and human contact, contact quickened their veins until every captured elf turned mortal. The elves called to their ancient gods, but there was no answer. As to why the gods didn't answer, our people left only a legend. They say Fenharel, the dread wolf and lord of tricksters, approached the ancient gods of good and evil and proposed the truth. The, goods of, the gods of good would remove themselves to heaven, and the, and the lords of evil would exile themselves to the abyss, neither group ever again to enter the other's lands. But the gods did not know that Fenarel had planned to betray them, and by the time they realized the Dread Wolf's treachery, they were sealed in their respective realms, never again to interact with the mortal world. It is a fable, to be sure, but those elves who traveled the beyond claim that Fenarel still roams the world. The world of dreams, keeping watch over gods lest they escape from their prison. Whatever the case, Arlafan had fallen to very to the very human our people had once considered mere pests. It is said that the Tevinter Magisters used their great destructive power to force the very ground to swallow Arlafan whole, destroying eons of collected knowledge, culture, and art. The whole of elven lore left only to memory. The fall of Arlafan as told by Gisharel. Let me get out of the circle. There we go. Oh, not that good. Okay, we can get this. Oh, 
Uh, this is going back to the graves, okay. Don't need to go there. But I do need to get a warrior of some kind. Can you perhaps do this? No. Okay, so we're just back here. Maybe I can go back and quickly get like a warrior. But can I go like back via here again? Or do I have to go all the way back again then? We'll see. Here we go. I can sense elven magic somewhere by. Not but blood and torn flesh, but a mother knows her child, Soran, Valandin, and Asal, and Aste. Good. That should help strengthen the veil. Another seal? Yep. You can get this pen. There we go. Something else here. Frail, flatter, faltering in the darkness, though imperfect, her voice a balm. Andrale, Falondin, and Asal, and Aster. Ah, we're back here. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Then. I'm dumb. Could have gone the other way. Oh, God. Okay, we can go down here then. Here, bandit tower shoe. Seal. Yeah. Is there anything up here? This just leads back up. I don't. I don't know why, but this kind of looks the same as like. The headpiece that Andraste wears as well. It's interesting. Assassin's weapon, love is not. And even do play. Let's see what we see here. the seals and we got some of this. Ooh. There we go, the seals. There we go. Can I energize this? And light this as well. Or not. There you go. Let's 
open this. This is it. I wonder what the elves left here. Ooh, do we have to erase it? Ow. Drop it. me to there. Anything else here? Anything to read maybe? Would be cool. Get to know more about Elgaron maybe? <laughs> Two emerged within an eve as one they fought as one fell. Rin, Ilan, Valandin, and Asel Anaste. Do I have to light this? I know. I wanted to say it wouldn't do any harm with it, but uh, as you can see, the corpses do rise. <laughs> Go and then this. Two more here. God, there's so much more now. What? Oh, fuck, there's a revenant. My guy can put this down on it. Do some of this for now. And the garage. Some lightning. There you go. Okay, let's see. Is Luda Belt of Sunder, Watch Lightning Staff? Go up here. Ooh, Keeper's Rope, nice.
got this. Ooh. Oh, good looking sword. The death of Elandrin. Elandrin, our brother, Felandin, guide you, maker, guide you. Let there, let here the truth be kept, lest you be remembered a traitor or or, or our so sorrow seem a passing foe. Though you swore to serve our people, there were there were que those questioning your heart. There were those questioning your heart. Too often have we fought with humans along our borders until the beginning was lost in memory. Rumors of an abduction stirred. As always, their chantry was swift to spread lies. In haste and anger, they killed Tionan, Siona's sister for wandering too near the hunter's path. You carried her body back to us. You mourned uh, with us. Yet your heart was distracted. Siona begged for vengeance and you turned away. More and more you vanished, without word or explanation. When whispers rose that you would swear yourself to their maker, we feared what would come. Siona sought to save you, to bring you back to us. She had lost a sister, must she also lose a brother? Beneath the tree she saw you with a woman, the one who turned you from us. The woman gestured towards the village. You and she turned to gaze upon the Chantry's walls. Shiona returned. She told us how humans were turning you against us, how their lives must have filled you. As, as a loyal servant to the Maker's cause, you would betray our secrets. When we wa went to ask if there was truth in this, you were already gone. So we sought to stop you. With haste, Siona led her people to the village. There, were, there we ch would challenge you. There we would bring you back to us or to justice in the dim of the moonlight night moonless night she saw shiona through the tree she raced towards shiona a cry on her lips and something in her hand shiona's arrows flew so the woman fell the name elandrin dying on her lips daisy slipping through her grasp the men of the village suspected the girl's flight and heard the scream they fell upon the elves, but were no match. Siona's haste surpassed your own. You knelt, be you knelt beneath the tree, blood soaked petals clinging to your clothes from a, spi from, from a final embrace. When more humans came, you would not be moved, and they would not listen. Their arrows found your heart, and you fell beside her. You f we found your body in the river, where they cast you aside. She was taken by her own. It was not the end, but your part is past. Rest now, we rest now as our honored brother once more. A wraith of daisies at your brow, the letter she carried in your hand. Whoever guides you, whoever guides her, may your soul meet once more in the beyond. Faded blood stains in the letter. Faded blood stains the letter. Adalen, what care? Have I for gods I have never seen, for a maker I do not know. Let others distract themselves with such lofty concerns. I only I know only this life, I have seen this only this world, and I care only for you. Perhaps your priestess distrusts the sincerity of uncivilized elves. If she must hear me say I will follow the maker, so be it. Your God intercedes as much as ours. My life will not change. I will return in two weeks time. My heart longs for you till then. And will remain with you forever after. Elandrin. It's an account of Red Crossing. When the elves attacked that town, it prompted the exalted march of the Dales. The Dalish would want to see this. I imagine the Chantry would be interested in it as well. Uh, but no. I feel like I'm gonna <laughs> show it to the Dalish. The Emerald Knights cry for the past, it shall claim us all. For here rest our saviors newly slain, others lie beyond our reach, so we remember. Let the true name burn away and enter Dinan Hanin, the place where glory ends. Andrale, whose song inspired, Soran with bow in hand, Siona, who kept the bridge. Talem, who saved the child, Rin, who, who let them out, Ilan, who kept watch, Elandrin, who, whom we betrayed, 
A blank space follows the names as if more were to be carved. Something here. Oh, is that something? Oh, it is. There we go. Nothing amazing, but it's something, you know? Okay, so did it say now that we can choose? So we can sell it or we can return it to the dailish. Well, I think I know which one I'm gonna do. Okay. Is that everything here then? Or. Let's see. Um, so here. <laughs> Nothing further here, right? No. Yay. Yeah, then we have to go up further. Unless there's something there, I'm not sure. No, but this just leads back. Okay, we can get up here then. Right on the here. It's not here. It's not here either. I'm so confused. Where is it then? Or maybe it's up? Could be up as well. But I think I got it already then. Because if it's this one, then I. Yeah, then I got it. Okay, let us sleep then. Then we have red lyrium there, we can take that. And then after this we can also go ahead and we should uh, look around. make our way to the daily so we can give them the thing. Ooh, Ooh nice. Can we go from here? Yeah, no. Storm heart, I think so. There's the cam. Two of the annoying dudes here. 
the big knives. And then we can do that. If I can. There we go. And we garage them all. Oh fuck. Okay, let me put this down then. Puddles of Fadas chasing sack meat, a brutishly strong honey liquor reminiscent of warm summer days. Apple blossoms on the wind with an unexpected aftertaste of father going off to work, never to return. Bitter to say the least. <laughs> okay, where is the lyrium then? Or oh, was that it? Looks like that was it, okay. Then we have Lash, which is there. Oh, but the dragon is there, okay. So, <laughs> I'm currently not well prepared for it, so we can't just... There was a lady in the tower. She cried, but no one heard. Aww. Is talking about the girl who was a mage? Ah, oh, this just leads further to it. Oh, we can go over here, though. There's a cave there. Oh, we're back here. I see. Okay. I think I'll quickly get these shards and then we can make our way over to the astrariums and the graves. Okay, here we go. Now we can get put here. I wonder what's here then. What kind of loot? Ooh, this is cool looking okay let's see Ooh, death word and mall of tactic tech tacitus tactitus there you go let's see is that staff any good uh not as much as mine is Oh, but it has a lot of constitution, though. To be solid. Is this something for you? Eh. Uh, mm, not really. Okay, so we got everything within the Emerald Crate, I believe. I believe. Yeah, we need, still need to do that. And this, because this is near Dragon Territory, so I still have to do that. But I will do that a bit later, I think. So I will go now to the Exalted Plane so we can give it to the Dalish. And uh, I think I also have some stuff to do with the Inner Circle. Yeah, I have to go to Empru de Leon. This is also at that place. Um, oh yeah, I have to go to the Hinterlands for that. And I have to go also to the Hinterlands for Varric. And then I have to take this to Cullen, and also I have to join uh, Liliana at the Chantry. So I think I'll go to the Exalted Plains Center now, and then we can make our way over here. And then we also have that area there in the Exalted Plains that I can go to. Let's see. 
good to see you again. I have something from Din Danan Hanin. I found something about Red Crossing in Danan Hanin. You explored Danan Hanin? Remarkable. So many have tried and failed. If you went to the Emerald Graves, did you see Tavern and the others? They were killed. I'm sorry. I am too. Sorry, but not surprised. Thank you for bringing this to me. It is part of our tale and will be cherished. Oh, that's sad. Gareth Shirel, then. Okay, so we can also go now here. But, because we make the bridge, but I think I will go to. What the fuck? I think I will go to. Ah, I keep fucking up. What the hell? Here we go. We can go to the hinterlands. And then we have the thing there for Solid. And then we can also go here for Varric. So if we go here then for now, then we can get the. We can change up our party a bit. And. Get Varric. Maybe someone else as well. And we can do both of those. For now, we can just go like so, and then we can go there. Nothing to report, sir. So, I'll be right back. Here we go. Oh, I didn't even do this. Oh, just a bunch of the terrors, okay. And then what we also can do is there we go. Then we have this one. Can the And then so let's you don't have yeah, you have kill strike. Keep him down. Demons, okay. Um, this one cool a lot, but we can keep it. Those are terror. Yes, maybe. No, he's still screwed. Okay. Let's take some more. And then, let's see. Where is he? Where, where is he then? I don't know. Maybe here. This is so difficult. Let's see. What is Iron Bull at? What the fuck? Otherwise, just. 
go like that. Oh, they're both outside. Close it. There we go. Nice, so we did that for you, Solus. And then can make our way over here for the for Varix ordeal. I level up nice. I'm level 20 now. Which means. Oh! Oh, yeah, I already have that. Okay. Um, I can get Pull of the Abyss. You create a tiny rift that pulls enemies towards a central point. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, I think I'll get rid of that one then. And then because like I have a lot of other mages as well that have it. There we go. Inquisitor. Finally, I started to think you weren't coming. Oh. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. Yeah. Well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyrium out in unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough for to start talking to us. Why should they be protected? Why would the containers need to be protected? Lyrium is incredibly dangerous in its raw form. It can poison or kill dwarves, and we're resistant to it. Sometimes it just explodes. No warning. Basically, only crazy people mine Lyrium. The mining cast doesn't just sling it into a bucket. It's carried in special containers that keep it under control. And that's normal Lyrium. The red stuff is worse. I wouldn't be surprised if most of their miners die just digging it up. You know what le Red Lyrium does? You seem to know more about the effects of Red Lyrium than most. Varric told me plenty about what it did to him. And his brother. How did you find this place? How did you find this operation in the first place? There must be hundreds of deep roads entrances. I've used this entrance in the past. Varric's not the only surface dwarf to explore the deep roads. Oh, I've got to admit, I was pretty surprised when I came here and found it full of humans. Well, let's get started then. We'd better get to work. Sounds good to me. The... Where is it at then? Not on this level. Okay, on the second level. Oh, there's more of the dwarves again. Hello. <laughs> Just <laughs> got him off. There we go. Um, I believe there was a way we could go here, right? Or no, that was the other side of it. Enemies here, is anything new here or no? Nah, no, doesn't look like it.
So this is what you do now? Beg pardon? Skulking around in caves, shooting guys. Is this your day-to-day? -day? I usually try to avoid the caves. <laughs> down there there we go go in here or it's one down yeah, this is the old one. <laughs> Let's pretend I didn't open that door. Here we go. You had me worried, you know. What did I do now? That letter you sent me about the Red Lyrium was the first I'd heard from you since the Chantry explosion. Had it been that long? Seriously, if you died in that mess, I'd have come back to Kirkwall and dug you up just to kick your ass. What would you do if I'd been cremated? Kick your ashes, of course. <laughs> I built these doors. They probably shut this one from the other side when they heard the ruckus we were making. Ta-da! You built the doors here? You've been here often enough to renovate the cave. You already know I've used this entrance in the past. I don't know if Eric's told you, but the Merchant's Guild is cutthroat. Literally. I built the doors to keep rivals from following me down here and arranging accidents. That was handy. I guess it's a good thing you came along then. I get that a lot. After you. What's his name? Bogdan? He's in Navarra right now, selling my machine to wealthy landowners. I heard some of the guild were trying to get you named a paragon for that contraption. That's not gonna happen, even if I am ten times the Smith Bronca ever was. A circus or paragon? Never. Uh, going to read there? No. Okay. A different dark fawn? Oh. Can we that in a bit? There we go. Ooh, we got a mage there. A warden. This is almost fun. Kind of like old times. I don't recall us ever shooting people together. Remember crashing Bartram's guild dinner? You might as well have shot him. This isn't nearly as dangerous as pissing off my brother. Ooh, what's there? I think this is the main thing. If I can loot this, there we go. 
There we go. There you are. They won't be able to use this entrance again. Bianca. They had your key? That's exactly like your key. How did they get a copy? Well, funny story. When I got the location, I went and had a look for myself. And I found the red lyrium, and I... studied it. You know what it does to people. I was doing you a favor. You want to help your brother, don't you? I just... wanted to figure it out. Did you? Did you figure it out? Actually, yes. I found out that red lyrium... It has the blight, Varric. Do you know what that wow. means? Wow. What? The two deadly things combined to form something super awful? Lyrium is alive, or something like it. Blight doesn't infect minerals, only animals. I couldn't get any further on my own, so I looked for a Grey Warden mage. Blight and magical expertise in one, right? And I found this guy, Lorias. He seemed Ooh. really interested in helping my research. So I gave him a key. Lorias? He was the Grey Warden we met in Corypheus's... Oh, shit. I knew something seemed off. I didn't realize until you said you found Red Lyrium at Haven. I came here and, well, then I went to you. So wait, Larise was working for Corypheus all this fucking time? Varric, you know this person? That name means something to you, Varric? He was at the Grey Warden prison where we found Corypheus. Yeah. And he definitely wasn't a mage before. No. He was a... a warrior. Why did you come with us? You had to know we'd figure out what happened, Bianca. Why did you insist on coming with us? Varric told me what people were doing with the Red Lyrium. I had to help make this right. You put this on us. You told Varric you had a lead, so we'd straighten out your mistake. I know I screwed up, but we did fix it. It's as right as I can make it. This isn't one of your machines. You can't just replace a part and make everything right. No, but I can try, can't I? Or am I supposed to wallow in my mistakes forever, kicking myself, telling stories of what I should have done? Ha! As if I would tell stories about my own mistakes. Varric is right. The Red Lyrium is out. Closing this entrance won't undo that. Uh, we've done all we can here. Bianca, you'd better get home before someone misses you. Varric. Don't worry about it. <laughs> get him killed, and I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor. That's funny coming from you, though. <laughs> Okay, let's see. That was it for here then. We can make our way back up and I think I can do um, Liliana's thing after. Actually, I think I'll return to Skyhold first. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and read some of the codexes because I think I have quite a few that I can go through. And we'll see what we can do after that. Oh, okay, here. It says what follows is a history of Tom Rainier prepared for delivery by Sister Le Leliana. Rainier was born in Markham, a city-state in the Free Marches. There is little information on his early life, but he was already a skilled warrior by the time he turned 18. Hoping to make his fortune, he joined the Grand Tourney, the Grand Marcher Contest of Arms. He won the melee, proving himself and earning a substantial sum of gold. What happened to the co coin... Rainier won in the tourney is a mystery. Two years later, he appeared in RLA, no richer than at 18. Still, he leveraged at his abilities and lingering fame to gain a place in the Orlesian army. 
Rainier excelled as a soldier, rising through the ranks quickly to become a captain with a number of men under him. Rainier's men were fiercely loyal. Our sources believe that many would have gladly defied a higher command at his word. On the surface, Rainier safeguarded his men's interests, but further investigation reveals that he was primarily concerned with his own advancement and profit. Rainier's desire to amass a fortune likely explains his involvement in the massacre of Lord Vincent Callier and his family. Our sources tell us that Rainier was approached by the Chevalier Sir Robert Chapius. Sir Robert supported Grand Duke Gaspard's claim to the throne and wished to enter into his good graces by eliminating Lord Callier, one of Celine's staunchest allies. Uh, Chapius uh, hired Rainier to assassinate Callier and offered him a great deal of coin for it. We have no reason to believe his actions were politically motivated. In the spring of 935, Lord Callier and his family were traveling to their summer home on Lake Celestine when their caravan was ambushed. It is unknown if Re Rainier realized that Callier would be traveling with his fa family. Rainier and his men slaughtered Lord Callier and his entourage. They spared not even the children, all four under the age of 13. It seems that none of Rainier's men were aware of the true reason behind the Lord's killing. They simply followed Rainier's orders. Rumors of Rainier's connection to the murders began swirling through the upper ranks of, to, of the army and must have given him forewarning, for he was gone when guards came to arrest him. His men, however, were not so lucky. Almost all were charged with treason, save a few who managed to get away, and Rainier was labored a traitor and a criminal, but remained at large until now. And then we have also the Grand Duchess. Ooh, is that like a butterfly? Your Grace, you requested the swiftest, surest method of getting a message to Grand Duke Gaspard, so I have arranged for, you, arranged for you to meet with his sister, Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon. While she is the Late, least account. She is of the least account among the current heirs of the Orlesian throne. Her connection to her brother is extremely close. Gaspar will listen to anything she says. Be persuasive. M. And then we also have Morrigan. Oof. I like that. Bonsoir. I too am concerned about this new advisor to the Imperial Court. If Celine is truly curious about magic, why not turn to Madame de Fur with her questions? Why seek out this dark haired apostate from Ferelden? Why bring the woman here? After a great deal of surveillance, I can assure you somewhat. I do not believe this Morgan has our impressed and and sourcelled. There is no way to be certain, of course, but the witch and Celine argue often. If Morgan tells Celine something unpleasant, she will avoid the witch for months before curi curiosity draws her back. Morgan has an interest in ancient things, magic from a time before the Chantry even existed, and it is and it is this pursuit that intrigues Celine. Morgan can answer questions that Madame de Fur either could not or would not. Whether any pertain to blood magic or other forbidden things that I can only suspect. Three of, the, three of my spies disappeared after attempting to breach the spells protecting this woman's laboratory in the depths of the palace. I would raise a fuss, but then my efforts would be revealed, even though I doubt I am alone. The entire court con is consumed with curiosity in the mere... And the more Celine keeps her in the sidelines, the more we all wish to know. Her empress plays with fire, considering she has yet to find herself a husband to solidify the future of her dynasty. These dealings with the apostates are one more nail in her coffin. Yours in trust, Madame de Carnegie. And we also have some stuff with Sarah. Uh, addendum, on Sarah's hatred on Darkspawn having read the reports, I might have sus expected that someone with with ties to Ferelden and specifically Denerim would harbor a violent dislike of Darkspawn. Whatever claims she has to family, all were threatened during the blight. They don't look right, not living. 
On Rajani, caches in populated areas are bewildered how such things go unnoticed, but perhaps that is the power of the practice servant. They are keenly aware of what escapes the preoccupied eye. Sarah, of course, can spy them instantly. She seems an extreme version of a very narrow def definition of perceptive. I have pressed for a schedule or even some hunt for of pros procedure. But she is content to rely on the unknown. It may seem exciting, but I should find it very frustrate find it ever so frustrating if I were searching. It's just red, right? But she'd see it if it was on a head out of season. <laughs> and then we have creatures. We have the August Rem. Which just looks like all the other Rem. The August Ram surely would whoever named it Ram had never seen it more its more common cousin the slender leg and sleek height give give the animal the grace of a heart or a hala. Its curved horn spiral spiral back over delicate ears twitching at the slightest rustle of grass. When start Startled, speed is the August Ram's only defense against the hunter. It is difficult to sneak up on these shy and wary creatures, but I have been here so long and shown such a wild, mild behavior that I have gained their trust. The rams graze peacefully a stone's throw from my sketching easel as I write this, thinking no more, f thinking no more of me than a rock in the field or a flower in the grass. I just wish the rotten things would stop trying to eat my canvases whenever I leave camp. From the diary of Tilandal Lamalen, noted painter of wildlife and portraits of the Olesian court. And then we have the Brontos. There are only two things a noble will step aside for paragons and angry Brontos, a dwarven saying. The dwarven shepherd originally bred this hulk hulking beast as a beast of burden and food source, the rough equivalent of service oxen and cows. Some versions of the Bronto have been developed as dwarven mounts, valued more for sure footedness and stamina than, than speed. While present in Orsamar in large numbers, some Brontos still exi exist in packs in deep roads, having returned to a wild state after the fall of the dwarven kingdoms. They require remarkably little sustenance, absorbing nutrients from water, fungus, and even rocks, uh, hence the rock liquor. Application, appell appellation many dwarves use to describe Brontos. And exists primarily in dormant state until provoked in anger and angry, charging Bronto is considered a rare, rather dangerous opponent. From Tales Beneath the Earth by Brother Janet TV. Let's see. Then we also have the Great Bear. Ooh, that's nice. The Orlesian Great Bear is so named because it is very large, very large indeed. Other names for it include the colorful old man of the forest and the less charming but more clearly describe descriptive woodsman's death. I am told that they are only found in remote parts of the dales and that not even the nobility is willing to hunt for them, which makes them unique among the rare, giant, deadly, exotic fauna of Vedas, the only thing the Orlesians are truly afraid of. From Brothers in a TV. Then we also have the Gorgods. The chant of light claims that the maker made us, and in our folly we think ourselves blessed by such fact. In fact, it is for my for in my seeking, I find only base illusions. The better for being turned down and mocked as inadequate is the harsh light of re of reason. But as an exercise, let us say that it is true that the maker made us. I have seen the Gurgot basking in a slanted shaft of sunlight in the pernubral canyon, its putrescent tongue scenting the rancid air of the nameless and unnameable swamp, wish swishing the uncaring grass of the plains with its passage. It is s some cousin of the wyvern, but bereft of the savage ferocity which the latter is praised and hunted by unleashed nobles. Its thick, lidded eyes stare witlessly at its jaw, hangs agape. It is not befuddled or frustrated by its want or re of reason, but perfectly content, a drooling idiot. Its pallid, 
belly stretches and distends, disdaining all reason when it gorges itself upon its prey. I have seen uh, such a lowly beast swallow a chevalier whole, the great and shining warrior taking by surprise in the tall grass, his silver white armor gleaming, gleaming as the gurgot unhinged its jaw to draw the chevalier in. Across its belly I saw the kicks and struggles grow frenzied, and then still the idiot beast settled into a happy torpor. The ruined armor of the noble warrior of the noble chevalier lay among the gurgot's spore several days later. Say it is true that the Maker made us, but what if he made us for food? What if the grand purpose of our searching existence is to stretch the belly of a beast that slings through the tall grass? What if there is a single unbending purpose, and it, and in it we are cattle to feed the witless leviathans that slumber unseen beneath us? From an anatome of various terrible beasts by Baron Havar Pierre. Ma- Master makes us check behind him for good gods at all times. He also carries a very sharp stick. Footnote in the margins of the manuscript by the Baron Scribe Dunwich. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else? We have this one. We have the shadow of the Red Templars. The specimen was fresh, killed only a few hours ago by a troop of chevaliers patrolling outside the city. Their caption told me in a strange and sickly voice that a group of Red Templars had descended on his on his men and massacred them. I think I read this. Uh, maybe not. I gave him my condolences, but he seemed not to hear me. The only the one on my slab was fast. The captain muttered, which n- much nimbler than its bulk suggested. Imagine my nausea when I opened up the creature and saw the red lyrium had fused to his bones, overgrown its lungs, and spread like a fungus into the brain. As I watched the red crystal pulsed and the spread of the smallest fraction of an inch deeper into the flesh of the corpse, blood rem- blood drained out of the surrounding tissue as if the lyrium itself were feeding on it. I have ordered my assistant to wear mask and gloves while burning the body. Posterity, forgive me. I want no truck with the forces in the thing. From the diary of Professor Alfred a naturalist studying at the University of Valrayo. Then I have the snow floor, right? Yeah. We have picked up someone new, called himself Marchand, and offered three early royals to travel alongside their Celestine. Betting both knees, he saw the bows and thought we'd we'd be protection. Didn't think we might turn the weapons on him ourselves. Maker scrapes by the time we hit Leeds. I wanted to. Little shit couldn't stop bragging about how he was going to tutor for some high lord's son. Everything out of his mouth was my lord silk knickers this and my lord silk knickers that. Showed us a little painting of my lord Silk Knickers and his lady, my lord I wanted to punch, but the rump on my lady, I'd like to tutor that, oh god. And then going through the dales, we see one of those long-nosed pigs with the stump legs, I, I just, it's just crossing the highway, dragging its stupid belly along the ground as they do, bless the maker and all, but... He was deep in his holy golden cups the day he made that thing. Anyway, I turn to Loki, Loki, and I say, Hey, it's one of them snufflers. Martian starts in with his giggle. Loki and me, we look at him. Snuffler, he says, like he just caught me naked with his lady's mother. Uh, okay, (laughs) I can't read that. Uh, because Snuffler just isn't fancy enough for Lee, so I say it like he does, Snuffler. 
can't keep a straight face. Marshan goes red like a virgin with skirts blown up. And good old Lucky, he just shoots the thing with an arrow like while it's sniffling its way across the road. Now it's dead and we call it dead, he says. That was that. From the haunting log of Kerr of West Hill dated 17 Solas. Then we also have history. Let's see. Here it is. Ah, wicked eyes and wicked hearts. The old gods will call to you. From their ancient prisons they will sing. Dragons with wicked eyes and wicked hearts. On blackened wings does the sea take flight. The first of my children lost tonight. Canticle of Silence 3 6. The dissonant canticle of silence in an alternative creation story to the versions of the canticle of frenities. Uh, much of the canticle is written from the point of view of the maker himself as he addresses mankind, humankind, which is why it was ultimately considered a blasphemous presumption and removed from the verses of John. Popularity attributed to Arkansarian silence depicts the maker as more sorrowful at the corruption and betrayal of his children, both spirit and mortal. He mourns the fall of the and corruption of the old gods as his own mistake, and he urges his mortal children to turn aside from the dark path their elder siblings have let them down. Most historians agree that Arkansarian had indeed likely written this canticle during the bloody Tevinta transfigurations. Literally, scholars of the Imperium one often cited this as one of the oldest recorded pieces of propaganda. In the sixth verse, the grieving maker calls upon his mortal children to acknowledge that the dragon gods have manipulated and deceived them, and to throw off their corruptive influence and return to the light. As the people of Tevinta rose up and slaughtered anyone remaining faithful to their old gods, this became the rallying cry of most of the terrible bloodbath in the history of the winter. Ooh, I missed something as well here. Here. Oh, we got the lion overlay. As to your questions regarding why a lion is considered the symbol of overlay, particularly when the lion is a creature native to only to Eastern Fates, the answer is quite simple. It adorns the crest of the Valmonts, the family that has ruled the empire since the end of the Exalted Age. And in truth, it is the Valmonts which have some come which have come to represent Orlay. Before them the Olesian symbol was that of the descendants of Cordelius Dracon, a dragon. As to why the lion adorns their crest, the that dates back to the time of Lambert Falmon, a young captain of Orlay who distinguished himself as the, at the Battle of Aisley, that great and infamous battle that ended the Fourth Blight. It is said that young Falmon disregarded orders during the battle, taking his forces to relieve the beleaguered Antivans and saving them from the absolute destruction. Though his superiors were at first Jack Ryan, chalking up the captain's actions to an infatuation with a certain Antivan camp follower, this incidentally has never been confirmed, it later came to light that the Antivan force had been led by King Azar Adalberto Campana himself. In the, po in the political realignment following the Blight's end, Antifa was an important ally to Orle, and Lambert Valmont was an Antivan hero. He was given the hand of one of King Azar's daughters in marriage and elevated to a noble rank, with a valiant lion to adorn his newly created heraldry. The religion emperor was forced to respond in kind, granting Valmont a marquis, marquisate. Imagine, if you will, the hero returning fr to Valrayo from the blight, sporting a wife with royal blood and the honors of two nations. This is why jealous nobles called him the swaggering lion a nickname he embraced. It was Lambert von Monsan, Alphonse, who later led the civil war against the usurper Xavier Draco. He killed Xavier in single combat, giving rise to the great Orlesian legend of the lion slaying the dragon, putting an end to Dracon's dynasty as he assumed the throne, and changing the Orlesian symbol forever. From a letter by Brother Chen is TV to Prince Kaelon, Kaelin Farron, 920 Dragon. You have letters, a different darkspawn. The journal penned by an unknown writer appears to be quite old. 
with many of its pages demanded the damage by water and dust. The entries that can be read all appear to be about 20 years old. We finally found a mug alive in that passage. Still can't believe it. The only reason I didn't stop digging is because he had the key to the cache. But after two weeks, I was expecting to find it to be on his corpse. What story, what story does he come up with? That he was found by a darkspawn of all things. A talking darkspawn. Polite, as you please. Who fed him and gave him water and ev- evidently chatted with him about servicers. I don't find I don't know what Amok is thinking coming up with a story like that, but he swore by the stone it was all the truth. Crazy as it sounds, I know Amok, and he's got the imagination of a dull hammer. Why would he make something like that up? Reminds me of a story of my grandsire used to tell me to tell about something his grandsire did, said he once came upon a group of three darkspawn in the deep roads, in the deeper roads, each twice the size of any dwarf, bigger than humans even, and dressed like king, dressed up like kings. He watched from the shadows and said they talked like people f- about things he couldn't understand. A city gone black, and they blamed each other for things but could barely remember for what. My man was like that, never remembered the slight, just that she was angry. Story goes they attacked each other, and one ran off while the second choked the third to death and then ate him. Don't know about Darkspawn having talking kings, never mind polite ones that give you food and tea, but maybe a muck met one of them. There's a strange things in the deeper roads, after all, Things the shaper can't even recall, as if smuggling wasn't dangerous enough. Ooh, so they're talking about. I'm guessing like the the architect, and then another one should be Corypheus, but who's the third one? I feel like it would be the most likely scenario that the architect is the one that ran away, given his nature, and then. Um, the Corypheus killed the third one and ate him, but why did he eat him? That's my question. Then we have magic. Alluvions. Let me tell you something. There are mirrors, old mirrors from the ancient times when our people ruled every part of this land. Only they're not really mirrors. They're alluvions. You find some dusty old scholar. He's going to tell you our people used... A- Alluvians to talk to each other. Don't believe it. There are portals. You walk into one and eventually you come out of the other side. Or at least this is what I'm told. You ever wonder why they've, n- they've never found any elven roads? Like our ancestors never walked anywhere? That's why they used alluvians. And there are still alluvians in the old places today. Some of them even work. And Briala knows where they are. If we can't get our hands on them, we'll have an advantage that no human could ever hope to counter. The ability to move across half of Fadus in a heartbeat. From a letter, de- letter discovered in the ashes of a building in the first shell alienage 940 dragon. And then we have places. Oh, we have some stuff about Skyhold. Uh... Oh, I think it's this part that got added. I think it's this. So, Inquisitor, your archivists have asked me how I came to know the name and location of Skyhold. To the latter, I may speak easily. When when one walks in the fade, any fortress that has been in, that has seen enough battle shines as a beacon for spirits drawn to death and struggle even after centuries of disuse. As to the former, I myself cannot say for certain. The whispers of old memories carry a thousand such names upon their breath. And it is possible that this name belonged to some other keep in some other land. Still, it seems an auspicious name. For for there is one particularly particularity of language that your scholars seem to have missed. 
When the words reached my dreaming mind, Skyhold was not simply a fortress near the sky, nor it was some simplistic allusion to holding up up the sky. Skyhold, or Tara Tarasilan Talas was the place where the sky was held back. Given your efforts against the breach and our battle against a madman who seeks to assault the Black City in the Fade, I can only hope that the Inquisition's new stronghold lives up to its name. We also have another place. Where? The Emerald Graves. Our people call this place the Emerald Graves. Long ago, before the fall of the tales, a tree was planting for a planter for every warrior who pledged themselves to the guardianship of the of the tales. Together, these warriors were the Emerald Knights of Halam Sheral, and the forest of their trees was named the Emerald March. When the humans began enroaching once again on our borders, the Emerald Knights banded together to protect us from the incursion but the humans were many and the chantry powerful and he eventually conquered the tales the knights fought in defense of our land and almost all perished the trees that once represented a mighty a mighty army were now living symbols of sacrifice the emerald graves i hear that most humans in l.a did not call this place by its true name i found it an inauspicious one and referred to the forest only as the great wood uh, they refused to see anything but wood and moss and leaves and hoped to remain ignorant of the blood that was spilled. But we have the people's, but we of the people remember. We feel the weight of what was lost, and we see w not trees but lives given for freedom. A Sopeke There we go. So we did that, and then I think I will leave this episode here for now, and then in the next one we can go ahead and talk with everyone, also with Colin, so we can give him the letters about what we found, and then we can also do... um this for Liliana and we'll see where we can go from there oh we also have this the last temple of Durfaman so perhaps we can go there and find out what the fuck happened exactly so I'll see you guys in the next episode bye